of the City of Garland, I am glad to attend the WMC Environmental Day event and appreciate the efforts of the leaders. I support a clean state of Texas. Thank you for inviting me to attend this wonderful event. Hello, my name is Pam Bell. I am a city councilman with the, with the city of Rowlett. And I have noticed that the WMC state, state chapter is taking a great effort to clean up our state and the environment. And I just really appreciate that because that's what we need for our community and the state of Texas. I am the deputy mayor pro tem for the city of Rowlett and I'm so excited to see everything that the WMC is doing in terms of environmental causes. The environment is so important to our future from our oceans to our forests, everyday health from cleaning our air to cleaning our water to providing oxygen that we can breathe on a day-to-day -day basis. And, and what the WMC is doing in promoting the importance of environmental stewardship is fantastic and we're just so happy happy to be a part of it and supportive of what they do. I am the mayor of town of Sunnyvale. I support the environmental uh, improvement efforts led by the World Malayali Council. And I support the World Malayali Council's effort in, in favor of the clean Texas. It's a dance performance, Mother Earth. You're amazing, mesmerizing, oh, Mother Earth, you're beautiful, enchanting, you shower blessings on each beat of life, you're the only hope, the only refuge, seven billion children. Our goal is total development by any means, and profit is our motto. We will destroy all the obstruction in front of our path. We will destroy the forests, blast the mountains, and have to pollute. with water. All animals and plants must have water to survive. If there is no water, there would be no life on earth. Our body is 70% water. The main source of fresh water is rain. The forest and very thick sand bed in rivers store billions of meter cube water. Yesterday, you taught us that we had been mostly depending on the forest for our survival. When will you take us to the forest? I shall arrange the trip this week itself. We can enjoy Bucky and have a close study of nature. And must do all we can to preserve nature. WMC members who are in the forefront of environmental protection with us to gate. Wow. <laughs> 
Welcome to the Vice Chairman and Associate Secretary and Committee Members. Nice to meet you all. Hi kids. Hi. I'm Imaj Jackson, the teacher in charge. She's my friend, the student's leader. It's a great place to be. Hi, how beautiful. There are so many butterflies. There are 2 million species of insects in the world. 12.5 million species of plants, which only 0.5 million are named. There are 8,700 types of birds and 8,700 types of animals and more than 24,000 species of fishes. Hey teacher, there's a honey behind the tree. The entire crops, fruits and fruit production rely on pollination by bees, other insects and birds. 80% of all pollination is done by honeybees alone. Man cannot survive beyond 4 years in a world without honeybees. Wow! How important are these silly insects in our lives? Yes, all the single diversity from man to elephant and to bacteria are link of a chain in a single habitant. None of them exist separately. The damage of one will affect all others. Look, I see some strange people. They are forest tribes, don't make any noise. They may be work shipping. Let's hide here and watch them. Otherwise, they will disappear and we will lose this rare moment. Glory so God, so give us food. O oh, water God, so give us existence. God, to so give us life. O sky God, to so give us habitat. O fire God, to so show us energy. O pendulum God, to so us nature. You have been protecting from variation things. We will guard you forever. We will guard you forever. We don't have even such a knowledge as these isolated people. They nurtured nature, so nature nurtured them. Due to our greed, we pollute and destroy nature, which is also owed to thousands of our future generations. Teacher, this ground is soft like a sponge. It is formed as such by the decaying leaves and roots of trees through decades. This sponge layer stores 50% of rainwater falling here. One acre forest can store 15,000 liters of water every year. This water falls down the hills as thousands of trickles and they swell into streams forming tributaries. Finally, they join into the wider river allowing us to have water all the time. It is this rainforest that intercepts monsoon clouds to form rain. What a nice, cool, pleasant atmosphere. The forest produces 28% of oxygen in the air. One acre of trees produces enough oxygen for 18 people to breathe for one year. 
carbon dioxide causes global warming. One acre of trees removes 2.6 tons of carbon dioxide per year. It is now only we realize that how important is the forest for our survival. It gives us water, air, rain, food, fuel, taste, aroma, medicine and maintains the atmosphere. And medicines for the new diseases which will come in future. But earth has lost half of its wildlife in the past 40 years. About 150 to 200 species of plants, birds and animals become extinct in every day. We will protect our forests at any cost. We will protect our environment at any cost. Wow, see that waterfall? The stream at the foot of hill is full of garbage. Foolish people, they inlay themselves as well as us. We shall clean the garbage now itself. No, it is dangerous. We will protect our nature even sacrificing our lives. This is horribly polluted. We will keep the environmental preservation as our routine. Even a small uh, damage of the environment will affect the entire environment of the world. For example, the illegal deforestation occurred in Brazil changed the entire environment of the continent there. Let us hand out to our future generation a pure environment handed over to us by our forefathers. My God, see the r rain is heavily f f falling up. You know the last few days, 50 inches of rainfall are measured. If it is continue like this, why? We are going to face big calamity, that means. My God, what sort of climate change is this? Heavy rain is going now. See after this heavy rain, you can see a heavy drought. Both are really devastating. See, the rain is continuing and the water has already started entering in our house. All the rivers have burst, the bank. See, the flood is too much. We have to call Dodd or FEMA for help. Maybe they will move us to a shelter like Lama State College or somewhere. Yes, we have Please. to do it. My God, see the news. Today in Texas, only 1,000 homes have been damaged. 23 shipping ports and all airports have been shut down. 781 roads are considered unusable and due to these reasons, 692 shelters were open. My God, see, see the landslide? You know where this place? This is the place where we went yesterday, the hill station. Yeah, my goodness. This is a warning to all. Due to power failure, all organic peroxides that normally require refrigeration in a chemical plant have exploded, causing fires. Please avoid breathing these toxic. My God, these are the toxic fumes. I am so scared. See, we are breathing poisonous gases. But let us say, uh, you know, wear mask or something. No problem. No, how no can problem. we survey? No, but this is flat. We cannot go to the hospital even. Calm down, calm down. See, millions of people are already separated. They are already isolated. They have no medicine, no water, no electricity. All in fear. They are all in the fear of death. At least we are. We are safe. We are safe till now. Nature became mad because of greenhouse emission. We, we made the nature mad. When tragedies occur, we media people, police, authorities, and philanthropists rush to the spot. We make protest and mourn for the dead. Our response seems to end there. Tragedies repeat themselves. No one ever seems to learn anything. Nature can survive without man, but man cannot survive without the bounty of nature. Actually, what was the accident? Pipeline burst and toxins spread in the atmosphere. One of the victims is my relative. 
22 victims are admitted here, five of them are in ICU. EPA law is in effect to impose a levy on establishment that pollute air and water. Since it is a very costly affair to stop pollution, a penalty will be the option for all. The Gulf of Mexico oil spill and the Texas fertilizer plant explosion strike horror in the mind to remember them. Due to insufficient water treatment, lead leaks into the drinking water, exposing over 100,000 residents in Flint City in Michigan. Pollution is the major problem that our country is facing. What's the news? Welcome to WNN. My name is Alvin Matthew. The country is shocked by further problems with pollution. Air pollution kills 12,000 in one year. Water pollution kills 2.5 million in one year. Another 2 billion have died due to disease. Let's see what the expert has to say. Humans produce more than 250 billion tons of toxins in a year. Every moment of our lives are exposed to these hazardous toxins. Vehicle pollution is also another problem. Due to hidden microchips within vehicles, the level of pollution is hidden. Air and water pollution, urban waste, ozone layer depletion, littering and landfills and agricultural pollution are alarming. Farmers must convert to biopesticides and biofertilizers. We should substitute energy sources from coal for renewable and clean energy sources. Otherwise, it will be a total disaster. In addition to the basic substance in the atmosphere, 65,000 types of toxins have accumulated. If we can't stop pollution, pollution will stop us. Global warming causes very erratic and unpredictable conditions that would bring about very dangerous and chaotic situations in the earth. Mitigations and adaptation that is preventing the greenhouse gas emissions are the necessary measures that should be immediately implemented to take care of this situation. The hole formed in the ozone layer is also a problem. The often stoppage of municipal water supply is now very free. What can we do if there's no water in the rivers and dams? Lakes Travis, Texoma, Whitney, and most of the rivers have shrunken, showing dark days ahead. Annual rainfall has dropped 15 inches and groundwater has dipped 50 to 100 feet in some places and even 600 feet in some places. Most farms have dried up. Half the dairy farms are closed. 1.2 billion people suffer from the scarcity of water. Within two decades, that number will swell to be 90% of the whole world population. Whole civilizations have vanished in the past due to the lack of water. And some people are even saying that the next world war will be over water. Yesterday, it was warning about wildfire. Desertification has started. The biggest lakes in the world, RL, has transformed to a desert. The big strike inflicted by pollution, littering, deforestation are the causes for all these tragedies. I fear that life will be impossible on Earth. Yes, yes. We are all root cause for these calamities. Uh, during the last uh, one and a half centuries, uh, which was uh, after the Industrial Revolution, the uh, amount of carbon dioxide we have put into the atmosphere has increased by 26%. Just because of that, the temperature, uh, the average temperature of the globe has increased by 0.86 degree centigrade. This has caused massive impacts on, uh, uh, on large number of people across the globe, primarily because of the lack of uh, water. Water-induced problems like uh, uh, floods, droughts, and those caused by diseases because of uh, lack of good quality water has affected millions of people across the globe. Now this global warming is increasing alarmingly. During the last three decades, the area of Arctic ice cap decreased by 50% and thickness reduced by 80%. If carbon dioxide increased by 100%, global temperature will increase by another 5.8 degrees centigrade, which is unimaginable. Even an increase of temperature by 2 degrees centigrade will be frightening. It will cause more heat waves, more giant rainstorms, more flood, more severe drought, and appearance of unheard of epidemics. Fantastic! Oceans hold most of the life on Earth. It provides food, medicine, and livelihood. It shapes climate and weather. See, 70% of oxygen in the atmosphere is produced by marine plants. 
oceans also absorb carbon dioxide from atmosphere. But now the oceans are dangerously polluted. What? What happened? A very sad news. Our Margaret friend died by the disease due to water pollution. My God, she is really a martyr for the nature. Hope you people understand the gravity of the situation now. Congratulations, everyone. How are we all doing today? Jackson. I'm a marine biologist. Peter. I've seen your concern for the nature. Do you know that 2.5 million tons of plastic are entering our ocean each year through our rivers? One of them is three times the size of France, which is floating in Pacific between Hawaii and California. 100 million marine animals, 1 million seabirds, and 100,000 mammals are killed each year. It will be annihilation of natural habitat on Earth. What is your apprehension about global warming? Now, warming increases alarmingly. Will the sea level rise dangerously? By 2100, the rise of the sea level submerges all coastal cities in the world, including 414 American cities like New York, Philadelphia, Sacramento and Miami, and completely ruins them. This is a time for the world nation to make a decision whether the people should live or die. This day would come, everyone on Earth has to wear oxygen masks and radiation jackets for their entire life. Does our researchers help to avoid jackets? No, researchers all over the world have not been able to find a solution. Curse my predecessors for polluting everything on Earth. They have wasted gifts of opportunities which time gifted to them. Yes, they were cruel, selfish and foolish. Yes, the whole way will say that. They protested had discussions for years and decades for the sake of environment, but they never did what they had to do. They decided to correct themselves. Oh my god! Oh! We don't move! We will not harm you! But we will take away your jackets! See this! Oh no! You and your predecessors bequeathed to us this rest miserable condition. As hard as Radiation gave us this fatal disease. We are dying in our misery. But you will be comfortable with your jackets. We will not let this happen. The government provides us only oxygen cylinders. But you, the rich people, can only afford to buy jackets. Don't hurt us. If we can't have jackets, you can't either. <laughs> when did you realize that it is a force and a vain hope that money can get anything? When will you forsake your arrogance that you can hardly control nature with scientific knowledge? Mother, forgive us! Only now do we realize all our faults. My children, where is your discretion? Where is your response? How will you escape from this total destruction? Mother, forgive us. You are our blessings. It is true, Mother. We and our predecessors have been the one who made hell on this earth. Our fault, our fault. From this moment, we will be your lifeguards. This is true, Mother. This is true. This is true. Life is beautiful. We want to live. We want to live. This understanding is the oath for your survival. 